Guatemala's volcanic eruption has affected over 1.7 million residents in the Latin American nation. At least 192 people are missing and 75 are dead as a result of the explosion of the Fuego Volcano on Sunday, officials said. Villages on the slopes were buried in volcanic ash and mud with more than 3,000 evacuated from the area thus far. Rescue work on Tuesday was disrupted when a new eruption sent hot gas and molten rocks steaming down the volcano's south side. Mexico has announced new tariffs on U.S. products in response to Donald Trump's decision to impose steep duties on imports of steel and aluminum. The list includes whiskey, cheese, steel, bourbon, and pork. Analyst says the tariffs are designed to hit U.S. Republican strongholds ahead of midterm elections in November. Trump last week levied tariffs on steel and aluminum imports from Mexico, Canada, and the European Union. And in international news, the much-anticipated meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un will take place at a hotel on the Singaporean island of Sentosa, the White House has confirmed. President Donald Trump originally called off the June 12 summit, which was called off two weeks ago but has since been salvaged after several meetings between the two sides. The U.S. wants Kim to commit to giving up his nuclear weapons. Trump said on Tuesday that plans were moving along very nicely. And finally, at least 100 people are believed to have died after a boat carrying migrants sank off the coast of Tunisia on Saturday. Thus far, the Tunisian Coast Guard has recovered 51 bodies and rescued 68 people, according to the country's Interior Ministry, which estimates that 180 people were on board. The remaining missing people are presumed dead. The boat was 170 miles south of the capital, Tunis, when it sent a distress signal at 12.45 p.m. local time on Saturday. For Channel 2 Headline News, BB Bacchus. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.